What's up, guys? I got a cool video for you guys today. And um, I was doing some searching. I was highly upset that uh, Samson just released the Samson Pay on all three car carriers. But Verizon was not included in that. I guess they're still working on some stuff with Verizon. And, you know, for us Verizon customers, we you know what I mean? It kind of sucks for us. So I was browsing through, uh, through on YouTube and on, on, on the web. And there was a gentleman on there that actually... Actually, uh, his his brother ended up getting it from T-Mobile, and then he he he, he um, extracted the the file, and then and then you know played around with it a little bit. You know, what I mean, you, if you gotta check out his video, he talks about you know, what I mean, how like he had to do all these crazy updates just just to get it to working. You know, what I mean, so most definitely all props to him. You know, if it wasn't because of him, we wouldn't even be having this on the Verizon version. So I'm gonna show you Samsung Pay on the Verizon version. Um, this is this is my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. That one has Samsung Pay. The Note 5 does not have Samsung Pay. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now check this out. After you uh, you register the Samsung Pay and, and you do all these updates, it's going to do a bunch of updates. It's going to multi multi updates. This is just just to let you know it's the real deal. So that is the last step there. And then, as you can see, you know, there's the little bar that we get. And there's my card, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, what I like is it shows you the numbers, but doesn't show you all the numbers. So you really can't do nothing with my card because it, it's not showing you all the numbers. Even if I cover up and you see it, it's fine. You know what I mean? You're not seeing all the numbers, so you can't do shit with my card. Only bad thing is this doesn't support PMC or TD Bank. I have PMC. And it's not supported. As you see, is I try to scan my, my PMC card, and that's what it was told. You know what I mean? So when, when that is available, uh, they'll send me a notification and let me know. So that's a cool feature there. Um, so as you can see, yes, I have Samsung Pay. And then, like I say, guys, I'm trying to multitask here. And then there's the app right there. So, you know what I mean? This is all the stuff you get. You know what I mean? It just some features. You know, just just like a manual, just telling you how it works and stuff like that. So I can't wait to try it out. Um, you know, this is what I was told is Samsung has a chip that's built in uh, in, in in these devices, um, and and where you can also use NFC and you can also use that chip. So that's that's how you get it to work. So, but I'm gonna put on on the video um, if it works or not towards the end of the video. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try it at my 7-Eleven, see see if it works. But as you can see, there we go. I had to cover it just in case. I'm not sure what it shows. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the Note 5. This doesn't have Samsung Pay. It's my girlfriend's phone. So show you step by step. One more thing, guys, before I do start. Right now, I've I've been rocking uh. Um, Android, Android Pay, and I and I like it, but the problem is with that is not every store has it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's the only problem I'm having. As you can see, you know what I mean, there's and, and I love the feature with the loyalty cards. Um, I love that. That's awesome. You know what I mean? I see, as you can see, I got my Planet Fitness, my Monster Pet, Walgreens. Uh, you do get this for free. Is the Walgreens one Best Buys? You know what I mean? My Bank of America, my PMC. You know. Uh, so yes, I'm I'm loving this feature. It's cool, but the only problem is that if they don't have NFC or they don't they don't accept uh, Apple Pay or or Android Pay, it doesn't work. You know what I mean? So um, right now, into every location, change changes up their system. It's not gonna work everywhere. So uh, um, with Samsung Pay, pretty much works at 99 or maybe 90% of the locations here, maybe about 70%. So, but let's go ahead and get to this. All right, so this is his video on YouTube. Samsung Pay. Now, 
is telling you, you know, tap. Sorry about that, guys. I had to bring that that brightness, and it's and, and it's on, on on auto bright. It's just you know with the Samsung screen, it's super bright, so it's got you know what I mean. This ain't my good camera. My other camera is being fixed. This is my shitty one. So I'm work with me, guys. You can go in and you can add your card. Now it is still the beta version, so you can't add other cards into it that are not the Mastercard, uh, Visa card from like you know Bank of America, America Citibank. I put all the ones that it's not supporting in there, or the ones that it is supporting. Excuse me. That's a lot easier. But uh, yeah, man, I got that Samsung Pay working. I'm not gonna show y'all my card info. Not a motherfucking dumbass. Uh, but yeah, if you want it, it's two APKs that be in the description. I don't honestly give a fuck about you guys' credit card information. Ain't that type of nigga. Uh, ain't that type of person. Excuse me. Anyway, that's entirely up to you. But if you don't want to, you know, download the APK, the workaround for it is if you find you like a uh, Verizon, excuse me, uh, I found a T-Mobile S6 Edge. There we go. I had just updated it, and Samsung Pay was a Samsung Pay update. So I took the APK, I sent it over to my phone, and I installed it. Uh, now, it didn't work for a day. Today, it actually, you know, went through a series of updates. Um, with those updates, I actually had to send the update to my brother's Sprint phone. He installed it, and then he was able to download the updates because the Verizon phone would not let me download the future updates. And I kept sending the APKs back over, and finally I got Verizon Pay working. Uh, also, his Sprint phone is working. After we did that, his phone did a complete system update after doing all those uh, app updates. And now his Samsung Pay is working, and he has the real version. I still got beta. But I'm the first one, I believe, with Samsung Pay working on Verizon Note 5. So, most definitely shout out to my mans right here. Um, <clears throat> so, when I update mines, um, just pretty much I'm just waiting for a couple more updates and then soon I'll be able to add my uh, PMC um, and and my other cars but um, so I'm gonna show you guys how this works and I'm gonna I don't want to make this video too long so guys like I said bear with me I'm trying to multitask here um, I'm not I'm not the best at it so I'm gonna bring the screen up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing All right, so first one, we're gonna do this one. So now it's downloading. As you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and install it. So this is the first one. Now I'm going to go to the second one. Same thing. Just same exact setup. Oh, I'm sorry. This one, this setup is a little different. Much faster, too. So there's the second one. Install. Now it's gonna go through all these manual updates. Done. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and look for it. There we go. Now it's asking for an update.
All right, so as you can see, the phone is dying, so I have to put it on the charger. Um, this is cool. You got also check out my unboxing um, on this. It's a 10,000 uh, uh, milliamp and it's a uh, quick quick charging 2.0. So, but anyway, so that's on there because if it's dead, it won't charge. I mean, it won't it won't update. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to update. Say so check for new update. We're gonna do that. Now it's looking. Now we're gonna put download now. Okay, so this just popped up. You guys can always pause and read. Um, like I said, I'm multitasking here, so I'm not the great at it. I suck at it. So now it's gonna shut the phone down and it's gonna manually reboot and and then uh, just to get it working. I'm gonna be pausing through the video, you know what I mean? Just trying to make the video as short as possible. All right, now it's back on, there we go. So that process always takes the longest. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and then once it stops, um, we go from there. As you guys can see, we still got some ways to go. We ain't even halfway there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll unpause when the, when the phone comes back on. Okay, fellas, so we're back on. See, as you can see, yes, Verizon's a splash screen. So this ain't no T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint. This is fucking Verizon. So I'm about to show you, we got this thing working step by step. So most definitely, I'm gonna get a shout out to my man. It's good looking, man. I need this baby. I'm rocking um, Android, um, Android Pay. It's cool, but nothing like Samsung Pay. The only thing, like I said, is missing is the loyalty cards and, um, and, and you know, me putting my PMC bank card. But besides that, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm, I'm probably gonna rock both of them. As right now, it's updating. Sorry about that, guys. It's just freaking screen is so bright. Um, it's updating, saying uh, Android is upgrading, optimizing apps. So it's, it let, I let it do its thing, and I come right back. Fellas, it's still updating, so. I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing, and I'll be right back. And there we go, that's a closer look, too, also. Alright, guys, there we go. So the phone is booted up. Let's see what's next. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead and go press OK. And uh, let's open it up. So when you open it up, this is the way it starts. Like that. Tells you how it works. Actually shows you how it works. You, you AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile guys, y'all don't really need to see this. This is more for the Verizon customers. Verizon fellas, that we, we need it. And then, you know, just gotta read all that bullshit, but no one does. So, who knows what we agreed to. And then she gotta, she wanna use her fingerprint, yes. And then now, this is the part where you scan your card. And then we want to put add a card. I'm not gonna do that here, cause then then y'all guys will see the card. You know what I mean? And then that's when you you add the card. The only down downfall on this is I, you know what I mean? Is there's no loyalty cards where you can add on there. But besides that, 